lately that I would say his best album to me is the Eminem show. Yeah, well, I mean, no. And that was in what, 2002, 2003? Nah, if one of these joints went hard. When he, he, memory came back, dropped two albums, recover and relapse. I just can't remember which one. One of them, but there's no, but you can't, but you can't, like, that was, them was the albums where he was using them funny accents and shit like that. Like, don't nobody want to hear that shit. The Marshall Mathers LP2, Revival, Relapse, Recovery. Like, he was on some funny hi hi shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man, he had some stuff. Stupid! Uh, I just gotta remember which one it was. I think it was relapse. I, I think I think it was the Marshall Mathers the LP two was the one with a uh, rap god on there, and it had uh, the song with Kendrick Lamar on there. I think I, I think that's that album. It's just like, have you ever heard his sway freestyles? Bad Crash Bond, same song and dance. That was actually good. Medicine Paul Stay White. Yeah, yeah. nigga, relapse were hard. Really ever, hard. I, I I agree. I mean, I disagree. Have you ever heard his phrase, his sway freestyle? Mm-hmm. Where he's just acapella, just, just with some shit, just yeah. rambling. Yeah, that's basically how his songs go now. You know what I'm saying? Somewhat, there, bro. There was where he's shit. saying like he's talented skill wise. He's putting combinations of words together, but you try. There's to no replay value. So when we talk about that's uh, what I'm, that's what I'm basically saying. There's no replay value. Stay wide awake. I used to jam this shit all the time. That that's was fine. my shit. It's still one of my favorite songs he ever did. That shit's so fucking vivid. That's probably the best. As far as like when people say nigga, I paint uh, pictures with my words. That's probably the most vivid. I mean, he's talking about raping a bitch. You know what I'm saying? But it's still when the is he most, not talking about? Raping yeah, a bitch. but it's still probably the most vivid picture painting by word song they had out there. I mean, we can go back and forth all day. I'm gonna tell niggas all the time. Go depends on the listener. People have different points of view and a listener. Motherfuckers, that's an argument no one can ever win. Okay. Because it's down to perspective. So, no one no one can definitively say any rapper is a GOAT because there's always one category or two categories. And then even if you talk about content several, right now, yeah, but there's there is, several but, categories. Yeah, but based okay, on. look, there's two of us in a room right now. You're talking about content, I don't agree. So at that point right there, we could not have a definitive GOAT because two people can't come to a I get what conclusion. you're saying. But at the end of the day, like I said, a lot of people are being prisoners of the moment is what I'm referring to. Oh, you're talking about the Kamikaze album? Yes. I, it was all right. I mean, half of it was nice. The, album, like a, was, the album was solid, like there I said. Was, there's really like three songs on there I can go back and listen to twice. The intro joint was my shit. Uh, I like Fall. Um, and then uh, I forgot the name of the third joint. Uh, I hate he was reaching on the 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 uh, Paul skits because he tried to tailor back into the old Marshall Mathers and I wasn't He's really a fan of have Paul Rosenberg. On yeah, that. I know, but it's the way that the skits were Paul set up. Rosenberg, was, small frozen turd. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying like the way that he raps. Rhymes, you know what I'm yeah. saying like, come on, nobody can do what he does. Yeah, but um, what's it called? He would uh, the Paul skits. Man, I could have went without the Paul skits. The um. He should have brought back King Kenneth from the internet. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the, the the lyrical content, damn, what was the second joint song they made with the second Charlemagne reference I'm toward bad. the end? I'm bad with names of songs, bro. It Honestly. was it was right before because he did a back-to-back song. But the album, I think the album was, was much needed for him because, like I said, he'd been throwing out that pop bullshit for so long. Like, he did them uh, songs with... Uh, Rihanna back in the day, you know what I'm saying? If those blew up, and it was like he just kept using that same formula: insert pink, insert you know whoever, insert you know. Now he's back to being the old Eminem, like throwing darts at motherfuckers. Like you better not say shit. I'm on your ass. I remember back. You know, people are shortchanging Eminem, like who has he gone at or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But niggas was not going at Eminem. He would say some shit, and motherfuckers wouldn't reply. I mean, Ja Rule took a shot at him. Ben, he been with him? the war with him. And um, how did that go for Benzino? Uh, niggas nigga had to sell his, he had to sell his magazine. Uh, he tore nah, Benzino's was, ass up. That's not from him. Nigga, Benzino got fucked up because he I, was in there. being technical. I'm being yeah, facetious. I, yeah, I know. But, I'm but saying, at the end of the day. Yeah, I don't think, uh, to be honest, for one, M never spit a bar back at Benzino. So, Obi Trice He had did. a whole song about Benzino. No, that was I Obi Trice. I would never to be no Ray Benzino, a 38-year-old yeah, fake yeah, Pacino. But, like, he was on his yeah, ass. Yeah, but that was Nail in the that's coffin? What, that's Nail a, in the a, coffin was his shit. Bro, that was a gang rape, bro. They, he never just took a straight shot at... Uh, but that's the thing. He didn't have to. It's Benzino. Yeah. Name but, a Benzino song. Yeah. But, you yeah, can't. I, I still say Benzino gave him some work. Uh, that Arch Nemesis was all right. It was all right out. Bro, but what's it called? Um, and oh, and another thing, we need to put this shit to bed. Like, I challenge anybody to sit there and listen to fucking Renegade and say Eminem got both verses. 
That second verse, Jay got. And that's just my, I'm the biggest Jay fan in the world. I could be biased, but I don't give a fuck. At the I, end of the day. I still say, I, I, to this day, I still say Eminem ate him on that Renegade. Every time I listen both to Both verses? Movie, bro, Eminem, if, told, bro, if that was Battle Rap, 2-O-M. Yo, I mean, that, like I said, Eminem we got one agree, up, we can agree your head to disagree. Out the door shit. We could agree to disagree, but like I said, that second verse, whole spit, and the first verse wasn't garbage. But like I said, no, that whole first verse, verse was nice. That, no, but that, whole, that, no, that the second, second verse, verse was was, was dead, nice. Like well, yeah, from was, beginning to end. Yeah, it's where he got fucked up is is Eminem just got it, bro. But I mean, hey, bro, on the same shit, bro. Tell me that Eminem didn't eat Biggie on dead wrong, bro. Get the fuck out of here. They didn't do that song together. I know, but I'm just <laughs> saying. When, like, I'm just saying though, on the joint though. Tell me Eminem didn't have the best verse on that track, bro. It's a Posthumous verse, you know I, what I'm saying? It, it, that's not what I asked. You always try to tiptoe out some shit. No, nigga, ass, be Eminem chip. and Jay uh, went uh, head to head. I'm asking of the verses that were on that fucking track. Who had the best verse? Dead wrong. Eminem. Thank you. That's all I'm asking. Why because it's gonna, a posthumous. I don't verse. care because of why. I just asked straight up so the verse saying, that so we got on think, dead wrong. You don't think the most vivid storyteller of all time could have did better if he was live to, to compete? The problem is. Only would person he, that I have, spit a hotter have, verse than have, Biggie was Method Man. Would he have had to rewrite it? Why would he have? I why would he not? I thought he would have used that verse in the beginning. If he would have known that one of the sharpest lyricists in the game was on that song, he wouldn't have delivered that verse. I don't think Biggie's verse was that lame. I, okay, was, I mean, I just against, think M's was better. When he went against Bone on uh, Notorious Thug, did he, he hold was, his own? Technically, though, I don't think did he Did he hold against, his own is what I I don't asked. think he was going against Bone. It wasn't that he was going against him. That's like me going against Ashante on the track. Nigga, you bro, can't. Uh, you bro, the bro, both things are harmony was harmony, nigga. In a, in, bro, in so, a they not, so you gonna discredit the, the bro, miracle of both things are harmony is a little bit of fucking. Uh, there are a lot of harmony, a little bit of thugging, nigga. And, so you saying they can't rap? And four saying. niggas with bone. Pause. I don't know why the niggas. Okay. I don't know why the niggas. This, this time, what the next fuck week, is bone mean in bone thug and harmony? This anyway? time next week, we are gonna be reviewing MGK's no, really, diss on you because you just dissed some Cleveland legends. He's on your ass, I nigga. If are, if uh, if ma- if machine uh, gun fucking get your uh, words Kalelica, together while you stutter, yeah, shit. machine gun Kelica want to come fuck with me? <laughs> we know who get, you are, Kelly. He gonna get ate up, nigga. Ain't no nigga with a natural part fucking with me. Get the fuck, nigga, out of here. Show, bro. Get I the fuck out I probably here, wouldn't even respond back. I just fly to Cleveland, punch his frail ass in the chest. No, but real shit though. Kamikaze was a dope album. What the fuck is the bone stand for? Both things I never thought about it. Well, that you know, everybody back in the day thought they was devil worshippers and shit based off of that first. Uh, no, was it East Eternal yeah, East 99? 1990? Yeah, yeah. East that album nine, cover. Nine, nine, nine. Uh, I thought those was a street. Huh? Wasn't that a street? Yes, yeah, a street. Yeah. Or oh, whatever. But uh, anyway, <laughs> what the fuck is bone mean though? Out of bone things. I, I just know, thought I can tell you what bone means to me. You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't know. You know, but at the end of the day, like I, I said, you discredit that. you discredit them niggas' lyrical ability. Like them niggas was was sharp as no, shit. No, no, crazy bone could spit. And uh, what's the lazy, light skin nigga? Lazy bone, lazy and busy bone. There's three niggas out of the five. Three niggas out of the five. They, yeah, they were nice. Uh, the one who was kind of like the lead nigga, the skinny nigga, the light skin. Lazy nigga. bone, lazy. I don't know all their names. They fucking bones, nigga. I yeah. What the fuck them a bone niggas, is? Like them niggas was them, them niggas was coming with it, bro. What one of them niggas named Wishbone? The one that got locked up? Yeah, because he had split personalities. No, no, no. Flesh was the one that got locked up. Uh, wishbone was the big one. Yeah, they got yeah. split personalities. Yeah. Split them up like a wishbone. No. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid, bro. So, okay. What do you think about the Red Man comparisons to Eminem, bro? Do you hear it? Like, they say that Red Man is Eminem's favorite artist. Bro. Well, Eminem said that. They taking the, something that Eminem put out. Because you remember his but original list, like, Red Man was like number one. And remember on saying, the song, remember on the song, he well, his top five, he was, well, he Red gave, Man he was number 10, five. He got 10. He said, uh, he said, it goes Jay-Z, it, it goes oh. Reggie, Jay-Z, Tupac, and Big Reggie. Reggie is Red Man. Yeah, yeah I know. That's why well, I say it's number five out yeah. of that list. Because it's top five. Yeah, well, he said Reggie first, but anyway, yeah, I know. But you're going five to one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, he was number one. Well, no, he did go five to one. We said Reggie, Jay Z, Tupac, and Biggie. Yeah, Andre from Outkast, Jada, Corrupt, Nas, and Debbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But either way, like uh, I said, or he might have. I, he I do one. not hear Redman. You know what I'm saying? He's a better rapper to me than Redman. Well, that's because. Well, okay. Eminem does a whole more. I think I hate to keep using this word, rapidity rap shit. Like, which, okay, like, 
Have you ever, you know, box- miracle, miracle? <laughs> yeah, that lyric. No, but if you know, we'll talk about it in a second. Go ahead. No, but you know, flurry punching. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, like when the fighter does flurry punches, it's got nothing on it, but they're real quick, might hit you 13 times, but none of this shit has no power. It's all for scoring. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He does a lot of that. That, uh, what's the that, name? A lot of that. What you call, what's the nigga name? Uh, Sugar Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah, sh- type shit. Yeah, a whole. Yeah, exactly. So uh, when he's rapping, it's a whole. <laughs> it's a whole lot of that shit, and uh, which is a, you know the downside to it is is there's a lot of that motherfucking shit is um but still at the same time the um that nigga um uh, uh Raymond go hard as fuck though he it's does just, but I will say this. Not to discredit Red Man, both of them, I think they're uh, goofy as shit. Their imagination is crazy. Yeah. They can rap their asses off. I think Eminem is a better lyricist, obviously. Uh, but if I had to be honest, and but you, this you could can be, be better and still have influence. That's nigga, why, I, mean, nigga, that's I see a lot. Of, I get what you're saying, but at the end of the day, I, I think see, I see a lot of Jordan influence in LeBron. But LeBron people like people better. compare. People are saying like Eminem is the black red. I mean, is the white red man, and I'm like, I don't see it, but. Uh, I think Method Man is a better rapper than Red Man, though. Yeah, but see, that's what that's the thing I was telling you, bro. Uh, if we had a conversation, if we got a hundred people in a room and talk to people about it, who's the goat rapper? We probably get fifty different answers. Yeah. And the reason why is, like, in my early days, I loved Tupac. I was going through way more shit in my life that Tupac was talking about. I couldn't really fuck with Biggie until I got my twenties, till I really got money, because Biggie was always rapping about money. Shit I didn't have when I was young. You know what I'm saying? Right. Shit he was talking about didn't resonate with me because it didn't fucking make sense. You rapping about being in cars I've never seen. You know what I'm saying? Right. Rocking clothes.